Let's take a look how to make this grungy text effect here in Photoshop. My artboard size is on 2560 by 1600. Let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it up, and I'm gonna go and select the Amador regular font, and I'm gonna select the type tool again and type in Vision. And here I'm gonna go with the Acura typeface. This is a free typo you can download. And I'm also gonna make the letter P longer, so I'm gonna select the text with the Panther, press Ctrl J to duplicate. I'm gonna select the marquee tool and select this area to make it longer and I'm gonna mask it, click on the mask and let's select this text and just bring it down and click on the bottom text here. Let's select the rectangle, make sure that your fill is on the white and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle on it and position it here. Good, from here let's click on the top layer Go to the adjustments, scroll down, select invert, press and hold shift, select all the layers, right click, go to convert smart object, let's go to the filter, blur gallery, select field blur, make sure that one of these is in the center, I'm going to increase the blur with it, click on the right and I'm going to decrease the blur somewhere around 3, on the left also somewhere around 3, and I'm also going to add one at the bottom and it's going to look something like this, click OK. Now let's go to the filter again. Let's go to filter gallery. Let's select the graphic pan first. I'm going to decrease the stroke length to three or four and the light dark balance should be on 50. Let's go down, click on the plus and let's go to the torn edges here, click on it. And I'm going to increase the smoothness a little bit high, increase the contrast. So this white grunge is going to disappear a little bit more. I'm going to push the balance up and it should look something like this. Click OK. Let's add some noise as well. Go to filter, noise, add noise. Make sure it's a monochrome and increase it a little bit more. Click OK. And not but least, I also added a grungy texture from onsplash.com and I'm gonna change the blend mode to, you can go with screen, I gotta go with lighter color. And this is how I make this grungy text effect here on Photoshop. Thanks for watching.